everyone. Welcome back. This is Terry at terryscraftroom.com. Well, previously I had shown you, and these are all over, so, but I had shown you this pinwheel tower card. And there's a blog post, and I'll, I'll link both the video and the blog post to this one directly below in the description. But today I'm going to do a, a, a little bit um, variation on this card. And so here is my variation, and here's the back, or front, or back, however you want to do it. And the card, it's, it's fun because the pinwheels go in op opposite direction, but it still lays flat and still fits in an envelope. Isn't that fun? And we're using one of the the Frightfully Cute stamp set out of the July through December mini catalog. Um, so let's get started. Oh, and we're using, and the, the DSP we're using is Cute Halloween DSP. And we're going to do it in a different color today. We're going to use purples. And let me show you this really cute designer series paper. So this is the paper we're going to use today with the bats. And we're going to, our second paper is going to be this, this um, striped. This is the back of the... <laughs> the really cute um, skeleton faces. And let's see here. I've got these all set out for for classes here. Here's the back of one paper. And then we've got haunted houses. And polka dots. And candy and these guys are so adorable and the back of them are boo this is just such cute paper and then the paper that I used this I used on this card here and there's the back of it and then the kitty cats which I used on that card and the back of it so just and this is all six by six paper so there you go but these are the two we're going to use today on a background of gorgeous grape okay so let's get started what you're going to need and there are a lot of little bits and pieces to this so if you miss any of my measurements I'll have the direct link down in my blog or down down below in the directions to the blog post for this um, for this card. Let's see where is my stylus. So what you need your first piece, the base or the the actual inner tower here. We're going to build each piece separately, but the inner square is five and a quarter by three and a half and we are going to score this at a half an inch one and a quarter inches two inches and two and three quarter inches just like that okay and then we're gonna We're going to fold and burnish all our score lines and you want some really sharp score lines here there we go and so what I do to make the center square is I'm going to fold it I've got the half inch score line here and then the second score line the one and a quarter inch score line I'm going to fold it at the one and a quarter inch score line and I'm going to put adhesive on this half inch score line. Okay, and then I'm going to take this last one. 
See, we only have one score line left over here that's showing. I'm going to just take this last one and bend it over. Just like that. And then when you pop it up, you have a square. Easy peasy. And then just make sure everything is adhered down nice and... And, and so this part is very much like the the other one we just don't have a tail hanging off okay so we're gonna make our own tails because if we had a tail hanging off it would be one long one and we want to make our tails going different direction so what we need are 12 pieces of cardstock that are one and three quarters by two and an eighth Okay, so and, and they're the same color as your card bit, your base here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put so there. I made this five and a quarter inches long so that my um, measurements would be not be sixteenths. So basically, five and a quarter inches divided by three is one and three quarter inches long. So our one and three quarter is this way. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take some adhesive and put adhesive on one panel. And it doesn't really matter which way you start. And then I'm going to take and Just lay this panel and just really line it up nicely with the edge here and the top. And there's our first panel, okay? And I'm going to go, keep going around. And so my next one, I'm going to put adhesive on the next panel just where this panel is going to touch I'm going to butt this up against it so it's very much like that old that other one I'm going to line it up and lay it over okay so now we have two okay so I'm going to do the third one Lay it down here, butt it right up next to this scored area, the center fold here. Line it up. This one you're going to have to pick up because you see how the, it, when you pull it, this bottom one is going to windmill around. And now you have three. Okay. And we need that last one on the top. And for this, I always use um, wet adhesive, a, a wet glue, because that way if you need to move your flag for any reason, you have just a second or two to move it. Okay, and there's our first light level. So the second level... I want my flags to be going the opposite direction. So what I'm going to do is with my first flag, these are going this way. My second flags, I'm going to adhere here going that way. And I'm just laying this one here so I know how far down to put my adhesive. on this first one. And I'm going to line it up with this edge of my center pole, so to speak, and making sure that they don't hit up here. Okay. So now we need to go to the next one. 
lining it up with the edge of the center and then I'm lining this up down here okay so I'm going to keep going around and I'll show and, and uh, I'll speed up the the video Now on this one, you got to go back up to the top and see where it's lined up. Or where the adhesive is going and which side you're lining back up so that you make sure that you're going with the top here. And our last piece. Making sure everything is nice and adhered down. And there is our base. Easy peasy. So, since there are so many bits and pieces to this, what I've done to, to kind of make it easier, I'm going to set this part aside and we're going to work on the pieces that we're going to use to decorate. And for this you need six pieces of basic white that are two inches by one and five eighths inches. Okay. So, using our frightfully cute stamp set, I'm going to first make a moon. There we go. have a witch. So let's make our witch flying. There we go. So there's our first piece. Set that aside. Or this comes with, a, uh, is bundled with some dies and so I took and die cut the spider web out and I'm going to use part of the spider web on one but I need to stamp my spider going down underneath the spider web there's the spider and then we're gonna glue this guy on and then we'll cut him where we need to cut him off because he's a little bit bigger than what we need. So I'm going to glue him about there. Like that. But you see he's hanging over so we're going to cut. There we go. So there's number two. See the the pieces are so small that it doesn't take much to decorate them. Okay, and then number three is going to be just some words. Oh, I did that a little bit crooked, so let's do that again. That's better. Less tricking, more treating. Okay. And then I die cut the witch hat out of the die cut set. And we're going to put some words over here. Once again. 
That's something you always need to know. There are two sides to every sheet of cardstock. And then we're going to adhere our little witch's hat. There's number four. Number five is going to be pretty close to plain because we're just going to put a little a little bat up in the corner. That way you can write on it. And number six, we have an owl, and I think what I want to do with the owl is give him a little bit of dimension by flicking some color onto him. There we go. So we're going to adhere our tree and this is another die out of that same set and so is the owl. So you can see that it's a very versatile set. And we'll cut off the bottom of the tree. And put the owl down. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now we want one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to put that in the back and the center. And it really doesn't matter which side, which set of sides you pick as front and back. Pick a set and go with it. Okay, so we have our front and back picked. And I found that if you put your your DSP on last, then you're less likely to get confused as to where things go. So what we need for DSP is we need two different colors and you need three pieces of each color that are two by one and five eighths and then you need six pieces of each color that are one and a quarter by one and five eighths. Okay, so the front of my card is going to have more of this color. So I'm going to do here and here and here and here. Okay, and then I need going to need one of these. And so if you lay it out like this then put it down, you're good. So let's start putting these down. Okay, so these are the three small pieces. If you lift up, these pieces are actually bigger pieces. So that's where the two by one and five eighths pieces go. And this piece goes here, and this piece goes here. I just flipped it a little bit so that I could reach them without them being covered up. Okay, and now the front of our card is complete. Now we're going to flip it all the way over to the back of our card, and we're going to do just the opposite. So we're going to need um, the bats on the middle. Okay, so we've got bat and bat. That means we need stripes on the upper and lower. Stripe, 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 stripe. Okay, you see how I did that? 
and then we'll get to these in just a second. Let's put these, the back down. And I happen to be putting the small pieces down first because they're easily accessible. Okay, I'm going to flip this to here. And now you can see that this fits with the other ones as I flipped them. Okay, back to here. Now these two are my striped ones that I'm flipping. I'm going to put the stripes here and here. Okay, so now the back is done. So I have the front done and the back done. I, I still have these pieces here. So flipping this to the side, I still have three pieces that need to be put in and those are my last three pieces that I have okay and these are all small pieces let that are left and then if I just turn this over to the other side I still have three pieces and there we go and that uses up all my designer paper. And, whoops, <laughs> I got the dropsies today. And that completes our card. So we have, here's the front. There's one side, there's the back, there's the other side, and then we're back to the front. Isn't that a cute card? I just love it. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this project. Um, check out our, our uh, new catalog that goes live on the the 3rd of August. It goes live on the 3rd of August. If you're in the U.S. and are looking for a demonstrator, please um, feel free to use my name, Terry Aldridge, as your demonstrator. And um, have a wonderful day. Bye, everyone.